But I'm headed to the night gig. Thursday morning. I'm going to have a little business, I know. I got three knives, you know, yesterday. Pocket knives. And I'm on my way to pick up some yard stuff now. Which is about 15 minutes from where the knife gig is. I'm guessing uh, lopers and pruners and hedge trimmers. But I don't really know for sure until I get that what it's going to be. And I'm supposed to have a fellow meet me over there with uh, a combination like a knife kit. It's uh, one handle and three blades. It's got two, two blades for cutting and one for sawing. I told him I wouldn't be able to sharpen the saw part. He said, that's okay. But it's some kind of combination knife thing. I've never actually seen one, but I've seen pictures of them on the internet. Different people make them. All right, stand by. The tra traffic's getting a little congested here in a few minutes. Man, I'll see you in a few minutes at the gig. Well, I'm all set up. All my gear's ready to go. My wicked edge. I got a nice cup of coffee. Stand by, jet plane. Now my favorite egg and bacon and cheese sandwich. And I picked up those, I went by that lady's house on the way here and you know I didn't know what I was gonna get it. As it turns out, I didn't get any uh, pruners or uh, hitch trimmers. I got all the pruners. What did I say, no, no pruners? I got all pruners. No hitch trimmers and no uh, loafers. But I got a whole damn bag of pruners. I've never seen one person with so many pruners in my life. This is a sister. Look at that. Come out of there. Look at these pruners, will you? One, two, three, five pair of pruners. Holy jumping Toledo. Action. Then I got those uh, pocket knives over there to do. Automatic and the little Spotico and the Columbia River job. Okay. I'll right, get back to you, you turkey. Come back. All right, let's do a before on these uh, pruners. Before they cleaned up and before they sharpened. Okay. Well, I got them all cleaned up. All the sap off of them and crap that gets on them. You have sharpened any of them, you know what I'm talking about. They're all ready to go now. Got to get them on the uh, Cali. Stand by. Well, I got all the pruners done. All cleaned up. All sharpened up. I got the automatic bench made, 9100. I got the little spider coat. And I got the Sea uh, Columbia River job. So I'm, I'm waiting now. I don't have no more action. I don't know what time it is. Let's see. It is uh, 12 13. Stand by. My lady just came up from the grocery store. Said, oh, I didn't know you were here. I'm going home right now. Get my kitchen knife and bring it back. <laughs> I don't know I got some more action. That's right. Well, she came back with two heckles. Hinkleys or whatever you want to call them. I'll call them heckles. German. She had them. She said she got them in Germany overseas when her husband was over there. Nice, big old fat ones. 20 years old, she said. 
But they're dull, they won't cut butter. I mean, <laughs> I don't know how she even uses them. God, stand by. As I uh, clean out my truck, <laughs> I want to show you something. When I dropped off all those pruners, the lady gave me this thing. It said, Max, it's got a bent, it's bent a little bit. Can you fix it? And sharpen it? <laughs> I ain't never seen anything like this, but it's a weird looking thing. Be a hell of a rolling shovel, though, I tell you that. Got blades right there. Eight places to sharpen. Mmm. Stand by. The guru, I mean, uh, Denny just texted me. Him and the guru are going uh, right out front here. You can see it's pretty windy. Rather windy. Tide's high, so you're not going to be able to get in the water. But they're going to hunt the dry sand, maybe some sloughs. I may uh, eat me a bite of lunch and get Jack and go down and join them. Stand by. <laughs>